Hello everybody, my name is Taurus Plays, and welcome to the Dead by Daylight public test build. This new survivor's name here is Elodi Rakoto. Elodi Rakoto. Uh, I only hope I am saying that correctly. The last name is R-A-K-O-T-O. And I am so happy to see a new woman of color added to the survivor roster. I just absolutely love it. We are also seeing an updated map. Oh my goodness. And we are facing the new killer called the Twins. Currently, uh, Victor is on the prowl. Um, and he is this tiny little gremlin, or as I have called him a couple times, a titty goblin. Um, and it's, it's pretty exciting. It's a two in one killer, um, hence the Twins. Um, the first is Charlotte, and Charlotte is the carrier of Victor. Victor is her, um... <clears throat> this, it is not her baby, like most people think. It's actually her sibling. It's actually her sibling. And, uh, Charlotte basically... <laughs> I saw Victor fly in the back. Uh, Charlotte is the carrier if you will, a victor, literally carries him in her chest cavity. Um, she herself does not really have any powers. All of her powers relies on victor. Um, now there has been quite a debate on whether the killer is strong or weak, of course, just like with any other killer. Um, a lot of people are saying that, you know, Charlotte is weak, but victor is strong, which makes sense since victor is her power. Um, you know, and so we will, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, it's always kind of hard to, to judge on the public test build because again, it's a test. We are testing to see what works, what doesn't work. Dead by Daylight will then take that information and either buff or nerf, uh, kind of trying to decide what should happen, uh, with the new killer. I personally find the killer extremely fun to play. Um, something that you will all see after this survivor match. Um, and hopefully we'll have a good match. Hopefully we'll have a good match. Uh, um, there's been some pretty sweaty people on the public test build, uh, which is very unfortunate because it just kind of takes away the experience for everybody. But you know, we are going to try. Um, I believe that is the first hook and we are currently at three gens. Um, about to be at two. I'm gonna try to finish this and then if, if, if uh, our teammate there has not been saved yet, I will try my best to go and do that. And uh, we will continue the rounds. And here comes Charlotte. There's Charlotte right there. Um, but like I said, I will be playing Charlotte after this, of course. Uh, per usual with my videos, you know, we do a survivor round and then we do a killer round. Um, also, I want to take this opportunity to say I am so sorry for the lack of videos on YouTube. Um, I, I, I don't want to say, oh, there's Victor. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say that I've been burned out because that is such a scary thing to actually say in my opinion but what i will say is um i, I just oh, haven't had the same drive that oh gosh oh i got the gremlin on me i got the titty goblin on me jacob get the fuck out of my way <laughs> so this is this is the power basically is uh charlotte can send the titty goblin after you also known as victor and uh you have to get him off you have to get him off um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, when it comes to YouTube, I just haven't had the drive that I would like to have for it, but I'm gonna, I'm hoping that this new fun killer and PTB will 
get me back into it um and hopefully people will enjoy the content that i provide um not that people haven't been enjoying what i've been providing it's just you know i stream five days a week five hours every time that i stream minimum um i've had a couple of special streams recently which means that my my streaming um times have been longer so again i don't want to say burnout because that's a scary word to use but i i just want to say i've been extremely motivated to stream i just haven't been motivated to really make videos and videos in my opinion is a really important part of growing on twitch um you know and the thing is i want to be careful about saying that as well because i feel very comfortable where i am right now on twitch extremely comfortable i have a fantastic community um who are just so incredibly supporting and incredible in general uh i have so many people that turn up on a regular basis and that is just awesome because it's one thing to hold somebody's attention um you know for a stream but when they keep coming back and coming back and coming back and they are consistently coming back like that is just a whole other thing you know uh usually with this map i i try to pay attention to gens and make sure we don't get three gen but honestly i've just kind of been you know talking about the public test bill kind of just laid back playing and stuff like that so i really haven't been paying attention to the gens i i honestly my feeling is that all the gens are on this side of the map now which really kind of sucks it means we need somebody who's very good at just running the killer um and a lot of times you know again to to go back to what i was saying before this killer is getting demolished most of the time um especially when i play them uh -huh. but you know again it's a new killer we're all learning we're all trying to understand we're all trying to adapt you know so everything is different that is the first kill we are at two gens currently um after this gen nope there is victor goodbye have a good day oh wait is he not active oops i was gonna kick victor which is something that the uh survivors can do all right, Charlotte has Franklin's demise. Nice. Are you still after me? So yes, you can uh, you can kick Victor to fight against Victor. I heard a survivor. I swear to God, I did. To heal me. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> against victor you can kick him which is very enjoyable to do <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it's a really pretty cool mechanic oops i guess she wasn't successful at the stun huh oh shit all right and there's victor as you can see um it is definitely a, a, a titty goblin <laughs> and uh the joke of course well i'll make the joke later because <laughs> you'll be able to see a little bit better but um let's just say that the killer looks a lot like one of the survivors <laughs> and it makes a whole lot of sense why they look like one of the survivors Ooh, hello i went through puberty i guess all right if y'all could stay within my camera frame that would be awesome so that i could get both of you and uh the people who are watching this can know what's happening a little bit better i can't tell if she's tunneling me yet or if she's going after dwight um i'm sorry to everyone who says that i would be a better survivor if i would learn to look behind me on pc uh there was a decisive strike there um but i have survived plenty of times not looking behind me um honestly as somebody who started out on the playstation 4 and has since then gone over to pc it, it's just a little difficult it's just a little difficult honestly to um i know how to do it you know i know how to do this thing and make the camera work for me it's just once i actually get into the chase uh, I almost always get downed and and I know it just takes practice but 
you know it's just more comfortable to me to do this and and honestly when when people claim that i'm that i'm handicapped to play this way if you will for lack of better term um I, I, it feels more rewarding to me when i get away with shit you know because they say oh this this is a bad way to play the game yada yada but for me it, it works and if it works for me then you know i'm okay with that and if it doesn't work for me i'm okay with that because again i play this game for fun i i don't play this game to be the best survivor in existence um if i happen to be good that's great you know i would never intentionally throw a game unless people were playing like that oh there's victor fantastic and i'm gonna go down because i'm injured good job victor we're all pr proud of you <laughs> i i just want to reiterate again though that um victor is not and this is from behavior uh the developers of this game victor is not a baby victor is not a baby it is an underdeveloped human i guess <laughs> And I say that because that's not a direct quote, that is paraphrased, but that is more or less what they want to get across. Um, and Charlotte, as you can see there, she is a husk currently. Uh, you cannot play both of the characters at the same time. You have to pick and choose. Oh, see, she just kicked Victor. And Charlotte is right here, so she's gonna either choose to tunnel and kill me since I am on my final hook, or she's gonna go after uh, Cheryl, which she decided to go after Cheryl. Um, I'm also happy that we finally, finally, finally get a female killer this year in the game. You know, we have the Dust Slinger, we had Pyramid Head, we have the Blights, and now we get Charlotte in Victor. All right, I'm gonna go try to save. Please don't kill yourself on the hook. Please, please, please. I can hear Victor. Uh, Victor does not have a terror radius. Um, the community is kind of split on that. I think Victor is scarier without a terror radius because you just hear the creepy like goblin noises. And, uh, and I think that's way creepier and like, I would say it's scary, but it's creepy. Oh shit. Oh! I think I killed Victor with that. You can kill Victor with pallets, but I just think it was a matter of, uh, of bad timing, if you will. I'm dead. I'm dead. So I would be really surprised if she doesn't put me on the hook. Well, she's going to go after Cheryl. She'll probably... Yep. I was going to say she'll probably get Cheryl. Uh, I'm going to try to go this way. And hopefully um, the hatch will be over here? Question mark? <laughs> she She's going to get to me long before I get anywhere. And I'm not going to struggle. I'm going to allow... Uh, them to make the decision to either give me the hatch or put me on the hook i'm sure they're gonna put me on a hook um you know I, I probably would put them on a hook i would probably put them on a hook just because it's a new killer and you want to make sure that you, you want to test out all the things make sure they all work make sure they all do what they're supposed to do etc this is the twins this is charlotte and this is victor this is brother and sister not mother and son and honestly this looks like nia carlson a survivor has finally accepted that she is part of the entity and is now finally killing for the entity thus making it her final evolution <laughs> all right so let's play our killer rounds and uh it looks like we have an object of obsession over here which sucks um and i just got fat shamed <laughs> i'm currently playing nia the twins carlson 
Um, and it's a very interesting killer. You really thought I was gonna fall for that? That was cute, Cheryl. Damn it. <laughs> Again, it's a new killer. So I am learning just like anybody else that would be playing. And let's unleash Victor. Or should I say unbinds? And we got her. So let me get Charlotte, my sister, over here. <clears throat> and these two douche nozzles are going to go over to save Cheryl. However, I'll be going after Cheryl still, and it's not a tunnel. Um, since it was a hit, and now I'm just going after the person that I was going after before. I have no interest in you currently. Um, I can only assume that this Cheryl is part of, um, some orgies with these, uh, other survivors these are like their boy her boyfriends and girlfriends in real life and that's why they're protecting her like they are um you know what actually let's unbind victor and we'll go after the claudette like i said um a lot of the survivors are extremely sweaty on here okay and they'll kick me uh which is fine i don't really care um when a survivor kicks Victor, um, when a survivor kicks Victor, you get Victor back. At this point, there is no opportunity to recall Victor, though a lot of people are asking for that ability. Um, and hopefully we get it. Hopefully you get it. I, I feel like we should be able to get Victor back whenever we want to. It shouldn't have to depend on another survivor. Um, but also, if Victor goes too high somewhere, like up there, or Victor can go over a pallet, if Victor gets stuck up on something, um, he'll just die. And the thought is that the reason why he's dying is because... Um, is because there's lack of oxygen. All right, who wants to get hit? I guess the Jake will. And why can't I? Uh oh, I think I'm bugged. Can't send Victor. It's not letting me. Oops. Poor Jacob. Uh, so right now, unfortunately, again, player test build. Sometimes yeah. Victor becomes bugged. This is actually a, a semi-new bug. I have never been able to not unbind him. Um, usually what happens is uh, you will unbind Victor, and then Victor it gets caught on, like, grass, it seems like. Um, again, this is another uh, newly re-graphicked if, if that's a word um oh now it's giving me the option on buying this is another re uh map don't worry i'm not gonna tunnel you i am not a tunneling killer i i don't believe in tunneling uh i see the cheryl and i think the claudette's over there as well yesterday uh i was playing ptb on stream and uh on twitch and somebody was telling me how to play the killer a survivor it was and i thought that was kind of weird since we're in the ptb and people are learning and stuff also like i said victor is bugged at times so i thought it was really weird that they thought they had uh they had a good reason to tell me how to play a killer that they were not playing at the moment um and i would have no knowledge if they played him or not but uh the way that killers work is is very different depending on the person who's playing the play style and to give any sort of input or insight especially on a killer that's on the ptb just seems a bit ridiculous to me it seems a little entitled as well uh i'm, I'm not gonna go after cheryl anymore um she wants to play that uh which could be an infinite if you play it correctly 
Um, you can lose chase and stuff still. Um, so I'm not even gonna bother with her currently. Um, and she has object, so it, it just seems kind of pointless at this point. However, let's see if we can find Dwight. Oh God, <laughs> I scared myself. Okay, I lied. I mean, if she goes in front of me, then I'm gonna go after her. Uh, she just kicked Victor. Um, so I guess I won't do that anymore with her. Um, I don't know how many points you get for kicking Victor. Um, also, just so everybody is aware, um, you cannot, or I'm sorry, you cannot. There is no map. There is no map. Um, a lot of people are not very happy about this. Uh, Jake got a little too excited there, throwing the pad way too early. Uh, well, not way, but too early. Um, there, that's another thing that people are kind of debating a little bit. Um, in regards to, oh my goodness, they're just kicking my ass. Um, in regards to the maps, people want new maps, but you know, Dead by Daylight is currently trying to redo all the current maps so that they don't look bad. I'm gonna use that term loosely, but bad on a PS5. You know, they don't want them to look bad on the PS5 which has now launched and i guess I, xbox as well I, I i shouldn't be selfish towards the thing that i'm interested in purchasing and not the other <laughs> um because dead by daylight will carry over to the the new generation if you will of consoles um i would very much like it if they got this whatever gen is left done um because obviously at this point i'm not going to get anything done and that's all right because again i play for fun they want to play sweaty that's up to them but to me it's not fun um it's not fun to bully a brand new killer to the game where people are trying to learn um you know but you can't prevent that you know how much fun you decide to have and not have the fun decide to have is really up to the different players you know um and i don't spend points on the ptb unlike other people i really don't because I know how much of a waste of time that is and a waste of resources that is because points don't carry over but you have people out there who do believe um you, you know they don't mind spending blood points and stuff when they don't matter because they already have everything and everybody leveled up and I do not um and so that's that I guess um, just to kind of explain what the perk does in the lower right hand corner um, Which is a Charlotte teachable um, What it does is When I damage a generator It also randomly decides to choose three or four other generators I forget the actual number right now to also uh, Regress start to regress if one of the generators that is chosen has a survivor that is currently working on it they will receive a difficult skill check so it's kind of like it's kind of like the old ruin in a way but um you know you have to work harder for it which is really interesting most people are comparing it to um monitor and abuse however um all right so I obviously have lost this. Um, I think what I'll do is, let's see. Uh, what I'll do is I'll open up the exegate for them since I think they're gonna have trouble doing that um, because they'll want to bully me a little bit more. Um, but I, you know, obviously that doesn't interest me. So I'll just help them out here. And if I happen to get another hit, great. If I don't, that's okay too. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter to me either way. I just want the match to end. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we can help him along a little bit. Please leave. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, next. Next we have Claudette. And I'm, I'm following, uh, Behavior's advice of, um, you know, just ignore the person with obsession that's what they told us to do instead of changing it or you know doing something to it they have decided to tell us to just ignore it so that's exactly what i'm doing 
I wish I could have showcased Victor a little bit more to people, but uh, obviously uh, it wasn't, uh, it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> it just was not meant to be. I know Cheryl was over here. Oh, maybe she went to the other exit. Either way, thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I am on Twitch. Let me just do GGWP. I am on Twitch every single day of the week with the exception of Wednesday and Friday. However, I will be streaming this evening because it is Friday the 13th. So I will be streaming Friday the 13th, the game. Um, and that will be that will be a lot of fun i think i hope i don't know they uh they took off the dedicated servers um and that kind of sucks uh so hopefully it doesn't take too long hopefully it really really doesn't take too long but currently i do stream 5 30 to 10 30 eastern time um sunday monday tuesday thursday and then on saturdays I am currently streaming from 6 to 11. I had to think about it. So sorry. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, come on over to Twitch. Check me out when I'm live. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing here is free, unlike on Twitch, where it actually costs you money. And uh, again, I, I really, really like the twins. They are really, really fun. I know I got my ass handed to me in this round, but again, it's a new killer, and I really, really like the idea of them. I think they're gonna work fantastically. Um, Victor is not here in the end screen. I, I think we can kind of hear him. I'm sure that will be fixed once they are officially released, but thank you all again so, so much for watching. Hopefully you have a fantastic day, and hopefully I will see you again. Bye-bye.